So tonight I'm going to paint, I really don't know what. Tonight I can't give it a title till I've finished, I don't think. So I'm just going to put some colour on the page, we'll see what happens, and I'm excited by that. Sometimes it's just nice to just not have a plan. I've just got everything sort of set up, I've got lots of bowls, that sort of thing, so I'm ready to go. So the question is, I suppose, is like even with no plan, you've got to start somewhere. So I could do some sort of card swipe, or I could just wet the page and start laying in colour with a brush, or I could do some work with a with a palette knife or something like that. So I suppose there is, you know, you've got to make some sort of choice. It is sometimes nice to just come in with warm colours. Wow, what's going on here? Oh no. Wow, this board is a bit wet. We've had lots of rain in Sydney. And this board has just soaked up some water. Wow, I didn't realise that. Anyway, I think I have to get myself some new boards because all these MDF boards in this damp weather we've had in Sydney are just, you know, are not coping. Like this one's wet on one end and other ones are going mouldy. I'm chucking them out, so it's, it's not great. Let's get started painting. <laughs> sienna on the uh, palette knife and we'll just come in and put a little bit of warmth onto the page first. I don't want to, I've got to be careful not to scratch the paper because at this stage early in the painting I don't really want to uh, go scratching it and disrupt the be paper's beautiful ability to transfer that colour and pigment across it. So let's see what happens there. A bit new for me actually, using these palette knives. So let's see, I'll get the water bottle, I'll do a bit of spraying. Get a little bit of a little bit of burnt umber. We'll tip that on. Pretty cool. What happens wet in wet? I might just tip a bit along here. Pretty cool. Burnt umber especially is a pigment that can just go. Poof. It's pretty amazing. It's like Mr. Squiggle. I was watching that the other day. <laughs> on YouTube, some old episodes of Mr. Squiggle and, you know, upside down, upside down. It was very, very cool. For some people that might be completely meaningless reference. Kids program on the ABC when I was growing up. Gonna get a palette knife and get a bit of this mix of the blue red shade and light red. It's tilting a bit. Sorry if I box your light if it makes it go a bit darker. Let's do it this way.
clean up a little bit. A little bit more burnt umber. In with a brush. A little bit of mix of cobalt blue light red. Just to darken it off. Right, I'm just going to dry this layer, but I've got a bit of an idea and it, it might all go horribly wrong. I've got an idea of just flicking onto here a bit, so we'll see whether that actually works or not. Right. Get a toothbrush and do a bit of flicking. Just flicking a bit with a toothbrush. I'm thinking about where I want sort of some light areas to be, which is around here, and where I want some more dark areas to be. Just doing a bit of flicking. This is the mix of Cobalt blue light red that I'm using. Doesn't matter if I get a few dollops in this dark area. It's totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Just going to cordon off this area a bit. We'll get a bit more in here. before with a warm underpainting. It'll be very inter interesting as to whether this works or doesn't work at all. Get a bit of that Winds of Blue light red mix. Especially in these dark Darker areas off to the side here. Might rinse. Oh, I'll get a little bit of water for this bottom part. This can be a bit chunkier down here. That's okay. And then I might rinse my toothbrush out, including my finger a bit. But I'm going to get a bit of cobalt turquoise light. I don't know if this colour will really go, but we'll see. Just make it interesting. Right, let's take these off. Grab this two inch. Hold and hang, give it a good wash out so that there's no dirty pigment in there. And then here comes the interesting bit to work out where do you want to do the brush marks. I want to keep this area of light just here, so I don't mind bringing this in here. I don't want to 
want to be too careful with this. You don't want the marks to be too contrived. Spray a bit here. Just get a little bit of this cobalt um, winds blue red shade light red. A few flecks onto there, interesting. Maybe shouldn't have been quite so liberal with that. I'm just going to get a little bit of the raw sienna and just bring it in up in here just so we get a bit more of this colour. They kind of connect. Oh, we don't want green. <laughs> Jesus. No green allowed. Be pretty careful. There we go, connect a bit more. All right, let's dry this. All right, let's, let's cordon off the horizon. I'm just gonna do that using 3M magic tape. Probably on the top, push down firmly along the top. We're going to make a bit more of a definitive skyline there with something. I think we're going to go a bit bluer. Let's go. A bit bluer. A bit more cobalt blue. Let's go. Get spray bottle. Let's spray. Darker down the bottom here. There we go. Beautiful. Let's dry and take the tape off. Right, I better just have a look at this. So I've stepped back from this a long way away, like a really long way away to see what it looks like. I also chucked it into an app that I've got called Art Rooms to see what it looked like. You can check out a couple of those images now of what it looks like. It just helps me because at the moment I don't have a mat that exactly fits this, like a mat board that I would normally just put around it and then step back, but I just don't have one of them for this size at the moment. So I think this is finished. I really like, I, I was, so there's some things that I was contemplating. I was contemplating putting some rocks here, really dark, to make even more of a contrast of this area against that. I was also contemplating just bringing a little bit more darks just from the sides here to just again focus the viewpoint more here rather than being such a big expanse of, of subject I suppose. But when I step back I just think it, it feels very uh, abstract but at the same time it's a landscape and I think it feels nice. There is a focal point which is the light on the horizon right here. This is not necessarily a realistic representation of what it might look like at the ocean but it gives you that feel of the light and the dark sky and the light on the ocean from above the clouds and you know it's, I, I think it's a nice, it's got a nice feel to it. So 
you know, it's and it just all sort of grew out of me putting some marks on the page and then turning the page around, contemplating with the whole aim, the whole time of creating something that was cohesive, something that had always light for me is generally the subject, not detail. So light and just the feeling of being by the ocean and that and that feeling of that. So, so thanks guys. I, I still don't really know what this is called. This is a seascape. It's sort of an abstract seascape, you know, for a change. And uh, I suppose it's got warms and cools in it and a bit of flicking. Yes, so I hope you enjoyed this video tonight. If you liked it, I'd really love it if you pressed like. If you want to know about future videos, then press the subscribe button, press the bell button. And if you want some more help with your Patreon, uh, no. If, so if you want some more help with your watercolors, then you can join me on Patreon. The link is in the description below uh, and up here. And And just make sure if you do join me on Patreon, make sure you join at the beginning of the month because you get billed, you know, when you first join and then you get billed at the beginning of each month. So just don't join on the 29th of a month because then you'll get, you'll get billed twice. But I have written that in bold. When you click on the link, it's written in there in bold. So I've tried to let everyone know that. So but just so you know, you know, if you join me on Patreon, then, you know, just realize that. The best time is now, actually, beginning of May. So love to see you there. We've got some courses on there that you guys can complete and lots and lots of videos, a new video every week and that sort of thing. All right, thanks guys. I'll see you next week in the video. Good night. Thank you.